In this video, I'm going to show you how to put socks on when you can't bend over and touch your feet. There's a tool that they make and they sell them at most uh, medical supply stores or you can buy these on Amazon. It's a sock kit and this is one of the tools that comes with the sock kit. And what I do is I, I, I'm using ankle socks and I put them down, orient the ankle sock so you have, you know, the opening towards you, of course. So let's, let's start with one. What I would do is put my toe inside that and I would put this inside there and I would stretch it out. Okay, go ahead and stretching it out like that, you can get a foot inside. Then you can use that part of the tool to reach in and now pushing down, I don't know if you can see that, but I'm pushing down on the sock to the floor to hold it to the floor with this tool. Well, as I push my foot into that sock, see how I'm holding that down to the floor? Now, that sock's on. I can straighten it out if I want by using this tool and my other foot to do like that. Let's do that again, but let's use the other foot. Okay, let's get some light on the subject. What you do is you take your tool, orient your sock so it's in the right position bottom down top up and well that's not as easy as it is okay we'll just try it like that there we go now i'll put my toe in there and let that sock go between my big toe and my next toe let's stretch it out like that okay we're going to stretch that out step on this one now this is going to be different than doing the first foot you want to step on that Go ahead and step on that because you need to pin this side down with this part right here let's go ahead and pin that down just like so pin that to the ground now i can get my foot in here see how i just did that see how i'm putting my foot in there while i hold this to the ground and hold the other side to the ground with my toe Okay, I let go so I can continue to get this in there. Now, it's going to be difficult to uh, get this one on because your sock's already on this foot and it's not as usable as a bare foot. So, you could just get that in there and start pulling around. Okay. Yep, it slipped out. Just get that in there and start pulling it around. Just like so, as you push that foot down in there. Okay, I've got it on pretty much, but you can see that the bottom's up here, so I'm gonna have to straighten it out. And I can straighten it out by just pushing it around like that with my, with my other sock, with my other foot, or just put it on the ground like that and push it around. So it's not completely on yet. There we go, we got it this time. It takes a lot of practice to work with this tool, but between this and a shoehorn, a nice long metal shoehorn, uh, you can get your socks on. Plus they make a tube. I don't like the tube, they make a plastic tube that you go ahead and you, you, you insert it inside of your socks. So your socks are already wide open. Then you put your foot in there and then you pull the tube out. So I don't really care for that because it stretches your socks out like crazy. Thanks for watching, folks. I hope somebody gets some use out of this video on learning how to use these tools. And you may do it different than me. You just have to do it. Try it and figure out the best way it works for you and your feet and your condition. Thanks for watching. Folks, a little tip with my shoes. I tie a knot right here and I leave that all that's loose enough. So these are now slip-ons. See, I've been doing this before. They had slip-ons. So I just, you know, I don't have to tie my shoe. I just step into them, adjust it like that, and then do the next one, step into the next one. All right, I bent over, I cheated on that one, but I'm able to bend over a little bit better now. I'm, I'm 
losing some weight but yeah either that you can buy slip-ons they use velcro which i don't like those and they also got slip-ons now that have laces that fake fake slip-ons uh sketches is making them i have two pairs of those but uh, if not then you can do your laces like this and just leave them loose like that but i wouldn't use these for mountain climbing 